Hi, this is Courtney with Inside Out with Courtney, and this week's two-minute message is learning how to be content. All right, so I know that this can be a very difficult place to be because a lot of times we want what we want when we want it. We are just like like that. We're the microwave generation, right? But how many of us know that God is not like that? He does not operate like that. Um, so he wants us to be content because when we are content, it shows that we are trusting the Lord. And I say this a lot in my blog post that shows that we're trusting him. And so um, trust me, being content is not a very easy place to be, but I'm telling you it's a very good place to be because God is um, definitely at work when you can't see him moving. Amen. So something I want to say um, that Paul said, he said in um, Philippians 4.11, he said, for I have learned to be content in whatever the circumstance. And that's from the NIV version. He learned to be content. And it was like he said, you know, whether I have a little or a lot, I've learned to be content. And so um, some of you may be in that place where God is saying, you know, he's not he's he's telling you to to just be still, know that I'm God, to wait on him, to trust him, to believe him, to be content. I will tell you in that place of contentment. I've been there before where the Lord told me, I need you to be content and I want you to go 100 right, right where you are. And at that particular time in my life, um, the Lord, I was it was at a time when I was like, I really wanted to come off of my, my job. I just believed that the Lord, whatever the Lord was calling me to do, I was not going to be able to do it on a nine to five job. So I was praying and the Lord was like, I need you to be content and I need you to go, to, go 100. Give this job 100% of your service. And I'll tell you, um, I wanted to even move out of the city. I was living in New Orleans at that time, born and raised from there. But I really wanted to move away from the city. And so I was praying about that as well. So the Lord, he told me, just stay. You know, and my husband was like, well, it's not time to move yet. I just don't sense that right now that it's time to move. We just found a great church and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it was like, okay. So I had to wait and I had to be still and I had to do the things that God called me to do. So I went 100 and I did it. And I'll tell you, within two months, guess what happened? Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Katrina hit my city. And from there, guess what? I have never looked back. The Lord moved me on. Me and my family moved us on to a better place. And now, of course, we live in Texas. And at that time, I was praying for God to enlarge my territory. Hallelujah. Did he not enlarge my territory? How big is Texas, right? Um, so anyway, but I had to get to that place of contentment before he would move me. He was just working things out. And guess what else I'll tell you? Not only that. But I have not worked. It's been 10 years. I was able to turn in that letter of resignation that I so wanted to do to be able to do the things that God called me to do. Because, again, remember I said that there was no way that I was going to be able to work a nine to five and do the things that God has called me to do. And so I am so thankful and so grateful. So I want to encourage you that as you wait on the Lord to do things in your life, as you wait on him to move in your life, just be content right where you are in whatever state you're in. Because I will tell you. That when you do that, it shows that you are trusting the Lord. Amen. And he loves that. He loves that. So um, just go 100 right where you are. I encourage you to do that and keep the faith. Walk by faith and not by sight. And believe that whatever God has for you, it will come to pass in his perfect timing. He's just working things out behind the scenes. Thanks so much for joining me for this week's two-minute message. I pray that it has been a blessing to you. Don't forget to tune in every Monday for a fresh blog post on InsideOutWithCourtney.org at 730 a.m. Or you can check it out on my Facebook fan page. Thank you so much once again and have a blessed week.